Hi guys, and welcome back to the channel. Now, right off the bat, I wanna make it very clear that I'm making this video for two different reasons. One, I'm very confused. What is going on right now in the world of the Hunter Call of the Wild? There's a rumor going around that there's not gonna be a new map or a new great one in December, that it's just gonna be a large update instead. I cannot find for the life of me where this was said or where people are getting this from. I cannot find the origin as to where people heard this. So that leads me to think that it's not true and it is just a rumor. But the fact is we don't have any clues or any hints or anything to go off of as far as no whether or not a new map and a new great one is coming in December as usual usually we always get a map in June and in December and for the last while it's been a great one at the same time a simultaneous release of a new map and a new great one so the other reason is we need another Africa map we need another Africa map I want another Africa map real bad but more than anything I want a second Africa map not just for me, I want it for you. I want people to be as happy as possible. And what would make the Call of the Wild community more happy than anything else right now in the entire world would be a second Africa map. So in this video, let's just talk about it. subscribe so I'm finally making a video talking about an Africa 2.0 map what would I want it to look like what are my ideas for another Africa map but before we get too deep into this one you guys I wanted to just ask if you could please head on over to my second channel and hit the subscribe button we're trying to hit 5,000 subs by the end of the year that's the goal over there we're doing a lot of fun stuff it's a variety gaming channel we're gonna be doing cooking videos over there I'm gonna be doing more music eventually and I would love to see you over there for those streams and I'd love to see you in the comments as well I really appreciate it let's get into the video without a doubt the most anticipated the most sought after update in call of the wild would be africa 2.0 it's the most popular thing to talk about it's the thing that people want more than anything and there's a lot of reasons for that verhaga savannah is a great africa map it's a really good map that kind of portrays and showcases the beauty of africa for the most part the grasslands and the savannas of africa but it doesn't do anything to showcase the beautiful forests of africa the deserts of africa the mangroves there's a lot of different biomes the swamps, a lot of different things going on in Africa that Verhaga Savannah does not capture. On top of that, of course, as we all know, there are so many incredible species of animals in Africa, probably the most beautiful on the planet. So why not do another one? There are so many new species we could have in the game. A second Africa map could be rich in diverse biomes, incredible species, incredible hunting, some immersive hunting. Get us back into immersive hunting. Let's get back to hunting and immersion and enjoying the hunt, getting back to the thrill of the hunt grinding is great but farming great ones at super rares and diamonds it's kind of getting old in my opinion and I don't think I'm the only one that feels that way now I know EW has said in the past that they want to keep making maps that showcase parts of the world that haven't already been made in the game before they start to overlap by doing like for instance a second Africa map but why then what's the deal with the what do we have five or six United States maps Africa is over three times the size of the United States of America it's like 31 million square kilometers versus 9.5 million kilometers so Africa is absolutely massive so why can we only have one map in Africa while we have all of these different maps in North America in the United States to be more specific so doing an Africa 2.0 map I don't think that would count any more as you know doing parts of the world that have already been done than you know doing all these USA maps without having a map in Greenland or the UK or in Canada or in Asia with the exception of Medved Tega there are so many amazing species species that could be in a new Africa map, great one opportunities. We're talking about maybe a lion great one, a Cape Buffalo great one, the Gemsbach great one, which we talked about in a video. What about a Nile crocodile great one? I want to see hippos and Nile crocodiles kind of lining the banks that lead up to the Nile River, the wildebeest, the great wildebeest crossing the Nile River, crocodiles attacking them and taking them underwater. Like I've done a lot of thinking about an Africa 2.0 map, and I think that there's so many different things they could do. And I think the community would just be absolutely over the moon. I think the hype would be unmatched. I think it would be probably the, the biggest update, the biggest thing they've ever done in the game. I think they should go all out. If they're going to do it, if they're going to do Africa 2.0, I think they should go all out. I don't think they should worry too much about, you know, maybe don't do rhinos because they're so endangered. Maybe not the elephants. Honestly, I would love to see elephants on a map in this game. It would just be so wild. Giraffes, zebras. I want to see some huge hippos, Nile crocs, of course. Like I said, the Gemsbok, some greater kudu, some more antelope species. I would really love to see some more antelope species 
on an Africa map. I really thought that Way of the Hunter would go that route and do more of the antelope species. Like I want to see impalas and nyalas, elands, hartebeest. I want to see some leopards, some African wild dogs, some striped hyenas. I know Way of the Hunter did the spotted hyenas, but striped hyenas are such a cool hyena species. Chakma baboons could be on a second Africa map. They are hunted in Africa. Fennec fox, serval cats, honey badgers. We could do ostriches or storks or flamingos even. More reptile species other than the crocodiles. There's lots of reptiles in Africa as well. And I mentioned this briefly before, but a big, big thing, a big vision that I have for an Africa map, it's kind of like my dream Africa map uh, in a hunting video game, is just to have the Nile River lined, you know, lined with crocs, crocs with just, you know, just their eyes peeking up out of the water. And at certain intervals, maybe every few, maybe every like few days in game or something, the wildebeest all get together on the map, like maybe the entire population on your map of wildebeest. They all come together, they all congregate, and they do the great wildebeest crossing of the Nile River, just like in real life. And the crocs come up, they try to grab them and take them down under the water and eat them. Just think that would be so, so epic. So great for content. The possibilities for content with something like that would just be so cool. So I would love to see that implemented. And then of course, Africa is a huge thunder and lightning hotspot of the planet. Africa has some amazing, epic lightning and thunderstorms. So I would love to see that implemented, maybe sometimes at night or even during the day, some crazy, crazy weather changes, some heavy heavy rain, torrential downpouring rain, and then, then maybe some huge lightning and thunderstorms. I think that would be very cool as well. Just so many cool things, so many th cool things to imagine and think about when it comes to a second Africa map in the game. And I just don't see why we can't do that, why we have to keep doing all these other maps first, like Mississippi, New England. There's so many opportunities for a second Africa map. So I'm hopeful. I am hopeful that maybe it's something that they're working on behind the curtain. Maybe we will be getting an Africa 2.0 map. Hopefully we're getting a new map in December. Let me know down below if you guys know anything if you've heard anything as far as what's coming in December. I have heard nothing. I've only heard rumors. Not sure where those rumors are coming from. So let me know down below. As far as like the landscape, that's the other things. Africa, uh, very rich in different biomes, right? The deserts, the forests. I would want to see more than anything. The forests like the Congo forest. But yeah, the Sahara desert, different biomes. They could do a savanna biome again. Some grasslands, some water, some swamps, right? With hippos and things like that. And like I said, a great one, a new Africa, great one. We could have a lion, great one on two maps, a Cape Buffalo, great one on two maps, Gemsbach, great one on two maps. If they decided to do a Nile crocodile, great one, maybe they could double that up and have a crocodile, great one at the same time on Australia so that there's two different maps with a crocodile, great one. So many different possibilities for this. And it's something I would love to see and I'm really hoping for. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Just kind of a short video. I wanted to talk about Africa 2.0. We've been talking about all these future great one possibilities. We've been talking about maps like Greenland and Canada. So I wanted to make the Africa map talk about Africa 2.0. Just get my thoughts out there and see what you guys think. What do you guys think is coming in December? Let me know down below if you've heard anything. Do you think it's going to be a new map? What map? Do you think it's going to be a new great one? If so, what great one are you expecting? Or do you think it's just going to be a big update? Maybe we're not getting a map this time around. Hopefully we find out soon. The EW stream is tomorrow morning, so hopefully maybe Jaxie will say something, give us a little something to go on here. Give us a little hope, <laughs> provide a little bit of clarity as far as what we should be expecting here. My fingers are crossed. Thank you guys for for watching as always please do subscribe to the second channel we're on the road to 2,000 subscribers over there subscribe to this channel if you haven't already and drop a like if you enjoyed the video and as always you guys thank you for watching and i will see you in the next one